This is Rocky Red Panda, and this is another exciting episode of Food Travels. Now we're in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. We're going to be checking out Gettysburg Eddie's. They come here for one thing, one thing only. They got their fried pickles back on the menu. So come on, let's go check it out. I'm an amateur chef, artist, and culinary food critic who understands what the meaning of small business is. I believe that food is a soup for the soul and can bring families together, which is why I travel all over reviewing unique and interesting places, one plate at a time. Come eat with me. This is P&D Studios Food Travels. Gettysburg Eddie's, a local gem, serves up homemade soups, salad sensations, and an array of sandwiches. With 6-inch TVs in each bar, it's the perfect spot to catch a game while enjoying your meal. So Gettysburg at Eddie's back in the day used to be the gingerbread man. I vaguely remember that from hang on. But it's now Gettysburg at Eddie's in honor of Eddie Blank. He is a local in Gettysburg who played for the Philadelphia Athletics in the 1900s. Edward Stewart Plank, efficiently known as Gettysburg Eddie, was an American professional baseball player. As a left-handed pitcher, Plank made a significant impact in Major League Baseball during his career. He is known for playing on the Philadelphia Athletics from 1901 through 1914 and ending on the St. Louis Browns in 1916 and 1917. This place recently sold not too long ago to new owners to Jessica Nels and her husband. So we'll see if the food is good. They did bring back the fried pickles. I'm going to keep saying that. They brought back the fried pickles. The menu is kept simple and they simplified it from what the menu looked like from before. You have your appetizers, your baskets, your salads, your tacos, your handhelds, your burgers, chicken, or bellas, dinners, pastas, and of course you have your drink menu. But I'm only here for one thing, the best fried pickles in town. So I went ahead and ordered my food. I came here for one thing, which is the fried pickles. They had them Bill Spears. Spears, they brought them back. And I also got wings with um, french fries. So we'll see how it comes out. All right, so guys, so let's go ahead and let's try these fried pickles. It's been ages. We got the buffalo ranch sauce. So I'm there. Mm. Hot. And the buffalo ranch sauce has a kick to it. But these are as good as I remember them. Oh, that's just delicious. Mm. Oh, I missed you. Oh, I missed you. All right, so I got the teri sweet teriyaki, wings, wings, and cider fries. So. The fries are pretty good. Let's see, if we got the sweet teriyaki glaze. We are playing eating wings, but we'll do it. Get the food. That's really good. Well, I'm going to finish eating my wings and food and that'll give me my final bounce. So my final thoughts. Let's talk about fried pickles. 
I came here just for the crafting. Right here. I'm gonna try to pick up absolutely amazing skill as soon as I remember. I love my crafting. The wings. The wings are delicious. I like them. However, the one thing I don't like is they get the sauce on the side, get the sauce on the side, get the sauce on the side, different. All right. And the fries are absolutely delicious. So, all in all, I would say the next time I'm getting to it, and what the best fried pickles. It comes to getting spring and eggs for the best fried pickles. Things, fries, sandwiches, all the above. Definitely worth checking out. This is Brock and Rich Hammond signing out for this week's Food Travels. Till next time guys, good easy.